from a busy and very noisy street in St. Augustine, Florida. We're at another national site. Julie, my Spanish is a lot worse than yours, so help us out. Welcome to Castillo de San Marcos National Monument. All right, let's go have a good time. Once protecting the beautiful town of St. Augustine is Castillo de San Marcos. It's among the oldest and most victorious forts in America. With walls 40 feet high and 12 feet thick, it was virtually impenetrable. Join us at this amazing location in gorgeous Florida. I got to fill you on what happened today. This is Hontoon Island State Park in Florida. We pull in and it happens oftentimes. You get to your campground, it's late at night. They got the little post-it on the door. You get it, you go to your site. Where's the campground? You see a campground here anywhere? There was nothing here. There was no campground to be found. So it turns out that our campsite is over there. It is 545 and the last shuttle departs to the island at 530. What are we going to do? So what we had to do was the ferry shuttle was done for the day. Thankfully, the ranger was extremely very kind. He got our, we got his attention. He came across the channel, picked us up in the ferry, and that has brought us to the island. What do you think of this one, Julie? Well, I hope we can get back across in the morning. <laughs> There's the shuttle. I'll give you the rundown of what's going on in a second, but we got to get our camping things together really quick. <laughs> we had no idea this was an oh. island. Oh, yeah. That's New Orleans. <laughs> Woo, thanks for coming back for us. That's very kind of you. I thought we were sleeping in the car tonight. Well, this is one you won't forget, huh? Yeah, it's very exciting. <laughs> The marker, you turn south, that's the Hontoon Dead River. Wow. It's very scenic, very natural, great for paddling. Oh, well, it's, it's nice. I'm thankful that it's um, not freezing cold and we get to be on this beautiful island. It's very, I don't know, different, you know, a different experience than we've ever had. And here camp. comes the gentleman. Look, we got a shuttle. We have a, a nice van shuttle ranger. on the island what to nice our ranger. campground. This was a nice man right here. Super yep. Nice. Florida State Parks, we're giving you a shout out. Because yeah. the campsite is on the island, but about a half a mile away, right? Right. So he's gonna give us a shuttle over there tonight. But this is the island behind me. There's, I think, seven campsites, maybe 10 at the most, and a couple cabins. But really, you have this entire island to yourself with just a few campers. Really an incredible experience here. Hontoon Island State Park in, Cal in, in Florida. This isn't good. Fort Matanzas isn't happening. All the boats are booked. We're moving on. So it is a beautiful day today. We're in St. Augustine, Florida right now. That's the Matanzas Bay right behind us. We're on the Atlantic coast. Uh, we're gonna have a good time here at this fort. This is a gorgeous area, gorgeous day today, and a uh, very historical fort. We'll tell you a little bit about it. Thanks for joining us today. I'm always fascinated by these fortifications. You can see how difficult it would be to penetrate this fort. You have a stone wall out there. You get over the stone wall, you got a grassy field. You're basically a sitting duck right there. You make it beyond that. You can see over to my right now, you have a large moat that you'd have to uh, work your way across. And then you have, oh, I don't know, what is that? About a 30 foot wall, at least right there, with cannons that are aimed right at you. So I'll tell you a little bit about the history of the fort, but I believe they tried to break into this fort at least three times and it was never successful. It always stood its ground. So Julie, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, you're on the Ravelin right now. Mm -hmm. This was the fortification that protected the drawbridge. So you have a little drawbridge there and now we're going to cross another drawbridge right now, which will take us into the interior of the fort. So what makes this fort special is it's made from coquina, which is a word for tiny shell. And the shells were found in some of the um, island barrier reefs around here, which makes it very strong. This is actually the 10th fort that was built on this site. 
the area played an important role between the British and the Spanish for control of the southeast. Inside the fort were rooms for ammunition, soldiers' quarters, food, and a chapel. The fort changed hands six times, all peacefully. In 1821, the Americans take over the fort from the Spaniards. Um, that was about 150 years after the fort was originally constructed. They used it primarily for a coastal defense, and also that was during the time of the American Indian Wars. So they kept a lot of Native Americans here as prisoners. All right, this one's kind of gross, but it's a pretty neat mark of engineering, especially at that time when they built these things. This is called the tidal toilet. You got a natural flushing every 12 hours as the tide came in and the tide went out. Pretty ingenious when you consider the construction of this and how they had a major issue they had to deal with. So we are officially leaving the lower area. That was the courtyard down there. You can see off to my left. And that's where they would house the soldiers and at one time the prisoners, as I mentioned. Now we're going up to the gun deck. A lot of steps to get up to the gun deck. And it's nice and sunny up here. Folks, I just want to say, a couple days ago, it was 20 degrees back in New Jersey, two feet of snow. We're here in Florida, February 2nd, and it is gorgeous out here today. Wow, and look at this view. Woo. Castillo de San Marcos, Spanish for St. Mark's Castle. This is the oldest masonry fort in the continental United States. Fort construction began in 1672, when Florida was part of the Spanish Empire. 23 years later, the core section of the current fort was completed. The goal of this fort was to protect the city of St. Augustine. You can see we're approaching the second lookout right now. This is the largest one, and it is positioned perfectly to get the best view of the inlet as it points out to the ocean. Oh. I don't fit in here. <laughs> yeah, you're broader. <laughs> Come on, keep the lookout going. Yep, the British out. are coming, the British are coming. When British gained control of Florida, that was back in 1763, the fort was renamed Fort St. Mark. Yet at the Prince of Paris, Florida was transferred back to Spain. Spain then later ceded Florida to the United States in 1821, and the name was changed again, this time to Fort Marion, in honor of the Revolutionary War hero Francis Marion. In 1924, the fort was declared a national monument, and the original name was restored by an act of Congress. The fort was attacked several times, twice by English colonial forces, but has this mark to boast of, it was never taken by force in battle. As we're heading out, I gotta tell you one more quick story that we just learned from the volunteers. 1702, the British attacked this fort. They held this fort and the people in the fort captive for almost 60 days. I think it was 51 days. At that time, the citizens in the fort watched right over the castle wall, their city being burned to the ground by the British. That'd be the Spaniards in the fort. 60 days. You said, did they have enough water? Yes, they had three wells at the fort. Did they have enough food? They had 60 days worth of food. And the reason they had 60 days was because they figured that's as long as it would take one of the soldiers or a couple maybe to get on a rowboat, go all the way down the Florida intercoastal way across the Gulf of Mexico, get to Havana, Cuba, notify the Armada to come up and give them some defense. So they made it. British gave up after 60 days and went back to England. I'll just sample the salted caramel, please. Thank yeah. you. Mud pie. Can I try a mud pie real quick? Of course. Thank you so much. Welcome to downtown St. Augustine, Florida. Wish we had more time. We gotta get back and catch our boat to our campground. That was good. That was really good. Fairly private campsite here. Got the fire going. I like the exception to the rule of having a campfire. I like it. Did I surprise you by actually <laughs> building that? It's pretty lame, but. No, I think it's very well. It done. is self sustaining right now for the most part. 
Well, you don't give yourself enough credit because your fire is very, very good. Oh, I don't want to get too good at it. I Not like bad. The fire. I like the fire. I'm going a little bit light on the logs because we only have three left. <laughs> so it might not be blazing, but it's giving off some good heat and it's keeping away the mosquitoes. Yeah, lots of mosquitoes. And you got to like this. We got our tent in the background right there, nice and quiet here. Mm -hmm. Hontoon Island State Park. All right. From historic St. Augustine, Florida, got the school field trip behind me. We're signing off right now. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to America's Parks. And remember, from the old town, there's always room for you at every national park adventure.